begin with the concept of sacrifice um, as we have it in antiquity, but then also as we see it described in particular in Leviticus. The, I think one of the biggest misunderstandings that Christians have today about ritual sacrifice is that ritual sacrifice really isn't about death. All right. Uh, yes, in many cases, there is a ritual slaughter involved in the sacrifice, but really the, the totality of the sacrifice and what where Leviticus really puts the emphasis is on what happens with the with this gift as it's being presented, in particular with what the priests do with the blood where they apply it to the altar. Is it applied to the altar um, or is it, you know, poured out at the altar in, in some cases? Um, and what they do with the, with the parts of the animal that they put on the altar and they burn up in smoke. If you read through the sacrifices, you'll notice that the interest on the killing of the animal really isn't there. In fact, in the, in the Hebrew tradition, the Masoretic text, the priestly activity begins after the animal is slaughtered. Now, there is some um, variance here. So if you look at the Septuagint, the Greek translation of Leviticus, that's not consistent. The priest in, the, in Leviticus, the priest also uh, is the one that slaughters the animal. But in the Masoretic text, the worshiper slaughters the animal and the priest is the one, the priestly stuff, the sacrificial stuff is everything that happens with the animal after it's been, uh, been slaughtered. It's also a process. So you, you never achieve anything with just uh, killing the animal. Right. And the point here is that to focus on this process and in particular on certain ritual acts in the process, it seems to be much more focused on application of blood, burning of animal parts uh, than uh, the killing of the animal. Right. So that's one big thing that I think we need to clear up. Ritual sacrifice really isn't focused on death per se. Right. Uh, that's probably an idea that we have imported back in because we know that Jesus dies for us and we think about that as a sacrifice. And so then if that's what a sacrifice is, then shouldn't we think about the animal uh, as sacrificing itself for us as it dies? There's some aspects to that where you, you could make that connection, but not in terms of the, the where the main emphasis is and not in terms of how Leviticus is thinking about sacrifice.